Are these permanent diamond teeth? Oh, yes, yes, yes. What age were you, back then, when you got them? I was 23. And for time reference, it's June 2021 now. Um, yeah. Now, how does this work? Do you go to a jeweler first? Do you go to a dentist first? Is it a package where the jeweler includes the dentist or vice versa? I, I had, uh, honestly, I got a best friend named Malcolm, and I had told him, like, man, look, man, when I get my money right, I want to go to Johnny Dang. I never had a grill in my life, and I was like, I want to go to Johnny Dang. So I didn't even know about the dentist. I literally thought that everything was going to be done in the same spot. But, yeah, I had went to Johnny Dang. He brought, he brought, he uh, molded the teeth, and then you go back about, like, four days later, though, and then... He sent you a slip to go to the dentist, and the dentist put the teeth in your mouth, literally, though, right there on the spot. Do you know the name of the dentist? Uh, Brownstone Dental. Now, why Johnny Dang? Out of all the jewelers, you could have went for your permanent diamond teeth. Uh, I got a little cousin. He locked up. He stink. I got a little cousin, and uh, he went to Johnny, like, nine months before me, so... I really be giving him the credit most of the time, though, like, he, he was the reason I went. Now, for transparency, did you pay for this, uh, these, these, did you pay for these perms, or was it for promo? Oh, no, I, I, I didn't rap when I, when I had these. I had these before I rap. And where is Johnny Dang located? In Houston. He got two locations in Houston, though. I got the chain from a different location, from Lucky the Jeweler, but I got the tea from the main location. Is, and Lucky's part of Johnny yeah, Dang part Company? Yeah, part of the Johnny Dang Company, for sure. And which do you get first, the teeth or the chain? Uh, it was on the same trip. Like, I was down there for about, like, a week. But I got the teeth on, like, a Tuesday, and then I got the chain on, like, a Wednesday. You got the teeth on a Tuesday? You got the teeth installed on a Tuesday? No, I paid for the teeth. Uh. You know what I'm saying? Like, in between getting them... In, in between getting them installed, because you got to wait like four or five days. So I had was just bought the chain, too. Now, do you wait in Houston that whole t entire time, or do you? Yeah, I wait in Houston that whole entire time. And when I say, whoever go to Houston, man, do not think you're going to spend as much money as you take down there. You're going to spend way more, though. What did you do on those days while you were waiting? You're just going to shop. They got good food, and they got good hospitality. So, yeah, they go. They know how you spend some money. Now, when you actually visit the dentist and you get these permanent diamond teeth installed into your mouth, how long does that procedure take? Honestly, it's about 45 minutes. It was the fastest thing ever. Did they have to shave any of your teeth down? Yeah, they had to shave. They had to level your teeth out. So if you if you want some permanence, just know you. It's not, it, it ain't. They ain't, uh, money back, yo ain't gonna tell you everything you gotta do about when it gets you, when you get some permanents. <laughs> I'm just playing. Were, was the process or the procedure painful at all? Uh, yeah, yeah, for sure. When you, especially when you get them clean, when you gotta get them took off and put back on. And yeah, that, yeah, that's painful. That's, and it's irritating too. Do you use the same dentist that installed them to get the cleaning yeah, as well? Yeah, you go, I go right back down to Houston and do the same thing again. How long does a cleaning usually take? Uh, about three days. Three days. Something. Nothing. Nothing special. Nothing like you know. I'm sure it's strapping. It takes three days to get. No, I'm saying you know you got to take them off one day, then you got to give them right back to the Johnny Dane, and then he got to give them. You got to give him He got to give them back to you when he done cleaning them. And you got to take them back to the dentist. And how often do you get a cleaning? I try to every three months though. I try every three months. Is that something that they recommend, or is that something you just take that's, upon that's yourself? That's what they recommended when I first went, so I was more so like, I wanted to, you know what I'm saying, keep the maintenance up. So just to clarify, because we've talked about a few different details already, the cleaning is painful, but the initial installation was not painful. No, the, the, the initial installation is more so like, you know, you, you got to think about it. You, I'm a... I'm I'm young and I always wanted diamond teeth though, so it's like the anticipation is more, more most the most you know what I'm saying. That's that's everything though. You whatever you got to do to get these teeth in your mouth, you gonna do it. Like you get them shaved, whatever you you know what I'm saying. If you wanted it that bad, when it comes to the installation, do you have to get numbed up at all? No, nah, I ain't had to get numbed at all. What about the cleanings? 
No, nah, not the cleanest thing that I never used. But that's just for me. I don't, that was just me personally. Oh, they ask if you want to get numbed up? No, I'm just saying I don't know how other people, you know what I'm saying? My pain level probably was a little bit. When it came to the initial installation, were you on any drugs or medication at the time? At the time, yeah, I was probably half a perk, for sure. For sure, I was probably, yeah, nine times out of ten. No, ten times out of ten, I was half a perk. And, yeah, I've been high for, I've been high weed for years. I ain't, I ain't came down for, I, I, I wake up smoking weed, so. So you were on marijuana and a perk yeah, at the time sure. of the installation? For sure, for sure. Did they know that? No, they didn't know that, no, they don't. And when it came to the initial installation, they're completed. You look into the mirror for the very first time. What did you think? I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I was happy as fuck. I told myself I'd never take them out. Now, I'm going to use this term loosely here. But when you get them installed, was it... An instant form of clout, so to speak. Yes, for sure, for sure. Yes, for sure. I, I, I mean, I'm glad you say you use it loosely because you know some people would have took it the wrong way, or you know how it is. People sensitive. But. Now let's talk about the teeth in detail a little bit more. How many teeth do you actually get done? Uh, I got eight and eight, so that's sixteen. Why not go all the way back like some people do? Honestly, it was the. Uh, it was my first time ever getting a grill, ever in life. I never had a grill, never never had a pull-out grill, never had a gold little grill. So I didn't really know everything about them, though. It really took me a minute to get used to chewing like this. But I And I don't really see no point in getting the whole. But that's just my preference, though. Me personally, though. I don't, I don't see no. I might get two more, I mean four more up and down. But yeah, I don't see myself just getting all of it. Why get four more? Uh... Because I don't want, when I be doing this, I don't want to see no white. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to see no white. Now, when you initially choose eight on eight, was that your own choosing or was that recommended by Johnny Dang or the I people think, at Johnny I think Dang? that was recommended, I want to say, though. I want to say whatever they said would have went, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, I went. And was Johnny Dang actually hands-on with you on this? Honestly, the the... The initial me going to go get the grill, he was there. But I wasn't talking to him, like... You know what I'm saying? I was talking to, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to say middleman or, you know what I'm saying, small. Like, but, you know, I was talking to his partners and stuff, though. But when I got to the, uh, when I got to his shop the first day, he was there. And he was, he was cool. He was kind. He was, we went funny acting. You know how a lot of celebrities be. He asked me, gave me a handshake like a man, all that. He was cool. So just remind me one more time. Sorry, again, we've been talking about various details. Uh, the eight on eight, that was your own choice or that was one of their recommend? That was a recommendation. Okay, that was a recommendation. Were you happy with that decision at all? Oh, I was. I'm still happy. To this day, I love my girl. Even though you didn't get the extra four? Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, I, I'm one of them people. It's, it's, you know, time. Time is time. So, you know what I'm saying? It's, it'll come. When it comes to these perms, do you know the color, the cut, the clarity, the carrot, the setting. Oh, yeah, for sure, man. For sure, though. I got white gold flawless, for sure. White gold flawless. I ain't played no games. I told myself when I do it, I want to do it. And I did it. How much did this cost back then? $30,000, though. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I don't regret one cent of it. Thank you. Thank you for taking my money. Why don't you regret one cent? Because I stand out. I don't look like the average dude. When somebody walk up on me, they know, like, he got something going on. He's somebody. Now, what does that feel like? $30,000 in your mouth. It feel like, like you said, it's a, it's, a, uh, it's a certain amount of clout. It's a certain amount of you can't fuck with me added to, to you. Now, when it comes to eating... You did say you had to get used to chewing. Mm -hmm. How long did that take? That took, oh no, that was about, that took about 60 days. But it's so weird, I'm going to be real with you. Uh, when you get your real took off and you got to have your regular teeth again, I didn't feel right chewing, though. I really didn't, though. So I really didn't want to eat until I got my grill put back on. So what did you end up doing those two or three days? Oh, I was eating. I was eating for sure, though, but I just, you know, it was just more uncomfortable. Did it change the way you spoke? 
No. No. No slur, no lisp, no speech issues. No. Sometimes I put a mouthpiece in to level my mouth out. Because you don't want, like, the overbite. Uh, and sometimes it can happen like that. Is that something he recommends or you choose you choose no, to do I that just, on your own? Yeah, I just saw, you know what I'm saying? I saw that sometimes my mouth, I, you'll get an overbite, you know. So you put. So what do you actually do? You buy a mouthpiece and then just put the mouthpiece in your mouth. It's just you know what I'm saying to train your mouth to just not keep on going over each other. Your teeth to stop going over each other. Now, when it comes to eating, can you eat anything you want with these perms? Anything except candy. I don't really eat a lot of candy. I don't. I try to stay away from candy. They told you that, or that's just your personal choice? No, that's just my personal choice. Ever knocked a diamond out? Yes. Yes. For sure, more than one diamond. I knocked about five diamonds out. My first cycle, you know what I'm saying? My first time from getting it clean, to, I mean, from having it to getting it clean, I knocked about five diamonds out, so yes. What caused that? I don't know, honestly, I don't know. I really don't, I can't tell you. I know when I went back, I got the diamonds put back in. Was it something you actually catch, or? No, nah, I never caught one, I ain't gonna say. I probably ate them motherfuckers for real. <laughs> Can you drink anything you want anything with perms? Anything I want. Anything I want. No stains. No stains. No stains. You are a marijuana smoker. Yes. Uh, is that an issue with the perms? Uh, I, yeah, I still smoke as much as I want to smoke, but I can say one thing. When I did take it back to get clean, I noticed the difference, though. Is there anything you could do before the cleaning to prevent that? No, I mean, you know. The uh, charcoal toothpaste and the dental floss and stuff, though. But for the most part, though, you, I, I feel like when when you bought this grill, you knew you was going to have some high maintenance, though, so you should prepare to have to spend some money. Do you have to use a special toothbrush? No, no. You mentioned charcoal toothpaste. That's a personal choice or that was recommended? No, they sell you some toothpaste when you leaving, right? It's like $300, though, right? But then you notice you can go on Amazon and get the same toothpaste or better for like $20, though. But, you know, I'm not knocking that hustle. Any health or dental effects since the initial installation? Yeah, when I first got it, uh, man, my teeth used to, my, the side of my jaw used to be hurting bad, real bad, though. And I ain't know what it was, though. But... And then I went to the dentist and she was like, man, you just got that grill, your mouth not level yet. So like, you gotta wait. I was mad as fuck. Was that something that was able to get fixed? Oh no, it just it was just it just stopped with time. It was just stopped with time. How long do you think it took? About a month. Can you still get cavities? I doubt it. Because I ain't saw my real teeth in so long, you know what I'm saying? Now, because you do have perms. What are your thoughts on people with pullouts? I I, mean, I don't I don't judge nobody, man. I feel like it's levels, man, and everybody not at the level where they can put. They can, you know what I'm saying? Just really, just say they don't give a fuck, and every day somebody see them with goals or whatever. So I don't knock nobody, man. Whatever you, however you want to walk around, man. I feel like, hey, go ahead, do it. Can you tell the difference between? Someone with perms like yourself versus someone with pull-out I'm diamonds? I'm going to tell you what every person with perms would say. Yeah, I can tell the difference. But listen, man, I don't even be in people's mouth that much to, you know what I'm saying? Notice, though, and these jewelers is good at what they do.